Ken McMahon returns to Chicago to play the Bears on ABC's Monday Night Football. Immediately, because the Chicago Bears are going to get the ball. Juan Reves puts it in the air for the Vikings, and he sends it two yards into the end zone, and this is Curtis Conway, and the number one draft choice from the University of Southern California is finally knocked out of bounds by another rookie, Kadri Ismael. Play first and 10 from the 47-yard line with Neil Anderson in the backfield, a fake to Anderson. Harbaugh over the middle to the tight end, Chris Gedney, the rookie from Syracuse, and that's a first down. 37-yard attempt. Chris Gardaki, who is the punter, to do the holding. And Butler puts Chicago on the board. And those who work with him offensively, in a one-back set, Barry Word, the three wideouts, the unrelated partners, Anthony and Chris and Ismael, the tight end Jordan, and the guys up front, Everett Lindsay is a rookie from Mississippi on the left side. And McMahon's first pass of the night. Instead, he scrambles, throws on the run, has a first down. Steve Jordan, who's caught more passes than any Viking in history. The safety from the 39-yard line. And this is Robert Smith from Ohio State, their number one draft choice. The rookie who will be worked more and more. Eight and a half to go, first quarter, 3 nothing Bears. The fake. McMahon buys time, throws wide open is Chris Carter, and he has a first down. He's he scored on their opening drives. I would not have bet on that. No. 39-yard attempt for Juan Reves, and it is just good. To the lights here in Soldier Field very easily. Second and 10. Harbaugh, that's the tight end. Chris Gedney loses the football. Vikings get it. So the game's first turnover, a big one. Because the Vikings take over deep in Chicago territory. Chris Carter abusing Blaylock. Second and ten, and here's Robert Smith. Yeah. And the Buckeye is inside the ten. Touchdown, Minnesota. That's the kind of a touchdown that a number one draft choice makes. Woo. That was an all-star move going from the inside to the sideline, Frank. Watch this. Pops through the hole. Break it out to the left. Right there. Plants the right foot. Totally gets away from Sean Gale and then just outruns Blaylock. Ten three Minnesota. Harbaugh in second and ten. Almost had it picked off and Carly might have had a touchdown. Minnesota leading ten three. Viking show blitz. They're not kidding either. <laughs> and Harbaugh gets blitzed and gets sacked back at the 27-yard line. Jack Del Rio and Henry Thomas just coming straight through the middle to get him. Can do nothing on the ground. Second and nine, and now they finally do something on the ground. Because Anderson gets a big hole, gets across the 50, and all the way to the 39. Blowing up field. They love to penetrate. On the 39, Anderson on the road. They give it to Conway. Harbaugh's out there to block for him. And Harbaugh throws a block. And Conway takes it to the 21 yard line. Cameron, his shoulder pads are overlapping the center's helmet. <laughs> Second and eight. Harbaugh escapes Goldman. Throws into the end zone. Anderson touchdown, but Harbaugh may have been across the line of scrimmage. I think he was across the line, and a flag is down. Harbaugh, I believe, came across the line of scrimmage he was not in contact with another player he was running downfield the block butler 39 yard attempt out of gardaki's hole and that one is just inside the right upright a couple times prior to that he's been right in the mix uh, right in the mix third down long three not a word that's been used often to describe oh. it sleep look oh. out oh and mcmahon somehow avoids the initial thrust by dent hostetler that they chose jimmy mack from the 35-yard line. Harbaugh going deep for Waddle, and Tom Waddle makes the catch, the flag goes down. Well, it doesn't matter, he had it. McMillan gave him a major shove, a major break for Chicago. First and 10 at the 28-yard line. Harbaugh, look out, Goldman blindsides him, ball is loose. And Bears appear to be at the bottom of the pile, and they are. Third down, 14 from the 31-yard line. And he is sacked. 
by John Randall. And that's, a, that's a sack that takes them out of field goal range, but they're going to try it anyway. But this is a, a dubious effort anyway. As you can see, Butler's never kicked one longer than 52, and this is 55 from the 45-yard line with two minutes to go. Yeah, but with no win tonight, Butler says, I think oh. I can make it, and he does! <laughs> One-point lead to the locker room. McMahon's going to try to move it down the field, and he throws completely. Second and ten from the 50. They fake the draw, and Jimmy Mack is going very deep, and there's a flag because Blaylock was holding Jake Reed. Rod Reves. Newsom puts it down, and Reves boots it through. It directly led to the Viking touchdown. And that's the only touchdown in the game at the 38-yard line. And McMahon uh, underthrows it, and it's picked off by Mark Carrier. And Jake Reed went to sleep. And, they, and a guy like Al Noga has gone to Washington, and they don't even miss him. 48 yards, oh. and no, sir. There's a flag down. If it's, <laughs> if it's offside Minnesota, it's still not a first down, but it'll make Oh, it there it is, all shorter. the way at the yeah. bottom. Yeah. Todd Scott, 38. Okay. Kevin Butler a with a 43-yard field goal right now. Oh, and they fake. fake and Gordocki's going to hit Butler, oh, and no. he drops the ball. A once-in-a-lifetime shot. Now the nickname is truly earned. <laughs> Still holds the mark. I don't think they've had a Pro Bowl receiver that has gone to Hawaii, has it? Yeah. That's his Dick Gordon. Third and five. And that is picked off. Intercepted by Audrey McMillan. And that reminds you of the play last year in Minnesota that was picked off by Todd Scott and run back for a touchdown on the audible by Harbaugh. And six from the 28-yard line. Harbaugh, forget it, and he's wrapped up, thrown down by John Randall. Trying to put the Vikings up by 13. And Reves's kick is short. They are being choked by the Vikings. No first downs in the third quarter. No conversions on third down. Neil Anderson takes the screen. And one of the few big gainers from that second That's and That's the old ten. saying, one hand grenade will get them all. Very intimate setting. Harbaugh scoots down to the 21-yard line. Bowler. Coleman looked kind of ordinary to that. 35-yard Butler attempt. And that is Kevin's fourth field goal of the night. Right there. 12. Those numbers for Anderson, his composite fourth quarter figures this year. Oh. And there comes Dolman along with Randall. Boy, those tackles, Randall and Thomas, have been amazing. Harbaugh throwing on the run and wide open is Gedney in the tight end. Has a big first down up to the 47 yard line. First and 10 at the 41 yard line. 101 to go. No timeouts remaining for Chicago. Harbaugh pressured by Dolman. Sacked by Dolman at the 46 yard line. Left side, you know he's going to help block. Third and seven. He stays in to help out and takes Dolman out of the play. And then he, he catches the pass. And Ironhead takes it to the 25. First down. The time is of the essence, and it has to be second down. I don't understand that. I'll tell you what matter. Yeah. Well, with 20 seconds to go, it's it's probably moved, but Harbaugh throws. Oh, and it's picked off at the goal line by Jack Del Rio. And it's a touchback. Chris Gedney was the tight end. He was over the middle. Harbaugh threw it right down Main Street, and Del Rio was there. Oh, now Richard Dent. Oh, look at Richard Dent. Chris Carter. Chris Carter. Very wisely was moving showing, out. Uh, showing a great deal of wisdom there. But the Vikings have defeated the Bears twice this season. 10-7 in Minnesota and 19-12 in the Windy City. They go to 4-2. and two. The Bears go to 3-3. Three and three. And we go to Buffalo next week. It's Buffalo against Washington. Brought to you from Orchard Park next Monday. Until then, Al Michaels, Frank Gifford, and Dan Deardorff. Good night from Chicago.